We struck camp and immediately set to work extracting ourselves before retracing our steps through the sand reed, back to the highway, and our obligatory ferry crossing for the day. But no sooner did we hit Route the 12 then we came across the sign no one ever wants to see, especially when detours simply don't exist. We had the program until 4 in the morning. The most probable is that it will end before. At what time? Until 4 in the morning. 4 in the morning? Yes. Really? Yes. Oh, even for the car? No, no. Very little. No. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not getting around now. Well, damn. Looks like we're going to be stuck here for about three or four hours. There's no road back there. It's just a giant ditch right now. So they're trying to bury some sort of drainage pipe. But, uh, yeah, bad timing on our parts, I guess. We did our best to busy ourselves, as the one and only road out was repaired with the speed and tenacity of government work. Until finally. Gracias. Go. Oh, gracias. After a nine hour closure, a total of six vehicles had accumulated. Suck at your job! Suck at your job, dude! Making our way back across the fresh road base, we crossed the mighty Palena River one final time along the Carretera Austral. Sixty-eight kilometers north, we departed Route the Seven once again at Via Santa Lucia, riding through the remnants of a 2017 landslide that claimed 22 lives, a memorial to those lost and ghostly reminder of the power and unpredictability of nature. Pushing east on Ruta 235, along the shores of Lago Yelcho, it wasn't long before we were once again swimming through fresh road base 
and stuck behind the incessant road work that plagues this part of the world. Much like Christopher Walken's insatiable thirst for cowbell, Chile's solution for just about everything seems to be more gravel, and with it, more dust. Rutas 235 and 259 to Futa Le Fou are crowded on a good day, and for good reason. Nestled high in the Andes, a stone's throw away from the Argentinian border, Futa Le Fou is the hub for world-class whitewater and our home for the next few days. I didn't realize KTM was making trucks now. Yeah, I guess it'll be covered under warranty. Both our schedule and our route had been changed on our behalf by the Chilean government, and the border crossing into Futa was our last opportunity to leave the country. Any further north, and we ran the risk of having the motorcycle confiscated, or so we had been told. Hiding from the rain and planning our next move, we discovered a loophole Despite having already left the confines of Zona Franca, our legal limit on two wheels, the corridor of the Carretera Austral into the Los Lagos region was an exemption zone. And Ruta 7, according to our map, begins in Puerto Montt. So technically, north into Los Lagos, we fueled up in Chaitan, at the foot of one of the world's most active volcanoes, before pushing on to Parque Pumalin, whose thick primeval rainforest still bears the scars of the pyroclastic flows from the 2008 Shaitan eruptions. Formerly Chile's largest private nature reserve, Pumalin was donated to the Chilean government by Tompkins Conservation and officially christened Pumalin Douglas Tompkins National Park in 2018. Now conveniently furnished with modern bathrooms and camping shelters in which to hide from the rain, enjoy a snack, or play a friendly game of cards. Rose is clearly enjoying our shelter. <laughs> Look how happy she is. She's jubilant. I'm happy. I just don't have anything, anything to do. No? You bored? You're happy you're just bored? Let's play some cards.
We woke the next morning to clearing skies and departed our wooden shelter tucked deep within the wilds en route to our awaiting ferry to the northernmost reaches of the Carretera Austral. Riding through thick foliage and traffic, we reached the queue at Coleta Gonzalo, where we ran into a couple of familiar faces. The Germans, Wolf and Christian from Fin del Mundo Motorcycle Hostel on Tierra del Fuego. What's up, guys? Hey! <laughs> Here, skip forward, mama. What's up, brother? Hi. How are you? <laughs> Good to see you. <laughs> What's up, brother? How are you, man? Yeah, pretty good. Good, good to see you guys. That's so weird. What? Good to see you guys. You guys that's only one road. Well. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> we were bound to run into each other yeah. eventually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> 